Hey everybody, welcome to the Studio Calico blog. This is Kelly Knoll here to show you how I put together a layout using the Be Happy Scrapbook Kit. I love this kit. It's a beautiful kit, very springy and fun, and the patterns are gorgeous in the papers, and especially this rainy uh, paper with the clouds and the rain, falling rains just I love it so much and so I knew I wanted to use that on this page and I chose a photo that I had taken in December of my boys watching a movie on a rainy day and to get the three of them to sit together and watch something or do something together is is hard pressed these days because we're all so busy so the fact that they were sitting uh, together eating popcorn watching a movie was special so I just snapped a photo of it and I knew that these papers would be perfect because they really depict that rainy day feeling. So here I'm just fussy cutting some of the rain clouds out and the rain, falling rain. And for fussy cutting, I always use these cutter bee scissors. I've had these scissors for years, I think since I first started scrapbooking, however many years ago that was, a long time ago. And I really like using the fine tip scissors for fussy cutting because it makes it a lot easier. And um, one tip for fussy cutting is that I always leave a border around the edge of what I'm cutting. I found that doing that gives me kind of a guide and it kind of hides any imperfections a little better than if you were to cut directly on the line of something that you're cutting out. So that's my big tip and that works really well for me and that's always how I fussy cut. So here I'm just fussy cutting some more clouds and you see I had to kind of rearrange my original plan because of the way the cloud kind of ran off the page on some of these. So I'm just using my photo and the other clouds and rain to hide those edges so that it kind of looks more organic and not so PC. So now I'm cutting out some clouds to put on their own up here in the top right. And I'm really liking the way this is turning out so far. I've got a good base here, but I love the silk screen in the kit and I want to add some more clouds and more rain and I thought doing it with the paint would be fun. So here, the silk screens are so easy to use. You just stick them down and then take your paint, put your paint um, on the silk screen and I'm just using an old library card to swipe the paint down. You can use a credit card, a gift card, whatever you've got or if you have something fancy and, and a real tool, you could use that too. But this works just fine. And here you can see I used a paper to try to prevent any paint from going over the edge and it didn't work, but that's okay. So we're just gonna go with the messy look here and you'll see me kind of cover that up um, later. So it's really simple and you just peel it off and it leaves a really good impression and it's beautiful and you can customize it and you can use it over and over again. So I washed mine. Um, just with plain water on, in the sink and then you let it dry and then stick it back on the backer and you can use it again and again. So that's a really great thing about those silk screens is they're reusable. So now I'm cutting some more clouds to put uh, around where I've already added some things and I'm trying to also cover up those messy spots because some people can do messy and I'm not good at it so I like things to be clean and graphic so I'm covering a little bit of those up and here I'm using the tab I love the tabs in this month's kit it's really a fun look and you can use them any I think they would be really cute in like a mini book or um, on a documenter spread kind of folded over but I tore them in half to use them on this layout this one I tore in half so now I like where I'm at here, so I'm going to put everything down, start sticking everything down. And I probably would have used some foam adhesive had I had some on hand. I ran out a couple of weeks ago, and I'm so busy I have not made it to the store to get any, but I love using foam adhesive, and I think that would have worked well for some of the smaller clouds to add some dimension to the page, so I definitely suggest doing that if you try this. I'm just adding a little chipboard piece and I'm pretty good here. I think the design is pretty much finished. I'm going to add some journaling and if you've heard me watch my videos before, you've heard me say this a million times that the strip journaling is my favorite way to add journaling, just easy and it journaling is always kind of the last thing I think about. So adding it at the end with the strips just makes it easier. So that's it. I added the date on that today tag and this layout is done. Thanks so much for watching.